So we are still in Geneva. For those of you that have been keeping up with the channel, we've had some great content. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it, then come back and watch this one. We are now heading to the watch show in Geneva, and what better way to go than by a helicopter. Let's go. So it's no longer today. No, it is, it's today, but you guys saw us yesterday. We were gonna shoot the watch show in the evening. There's a huge tent over there, which you probably can't see. Point the camera that way. Well, I can't, can I? Because then we'll see who's there. Oh yeah, we've got a surprise here. So we, can, we, can, we can't, anyway, there's Hold a- <laughs> Can't see it because there's a speedboat in the way. Never mind. So there's a big tent. We went there, we were gonna film the watch show and it was just chaos, loud music, impossible to film. Five million people, well, that's an exaggeration. It was about four million people. But we did run into somebody that we invited to join us today on today's video. ta -da. Hey Paul there, Michael. Thor. Good to see you. How are you, my friend? friend? So good to see you. Lovely. So good to see you. Nearly threw me in the, oh, in the yeah. Lake Geneva. Look how pretty this is. Beautiful, stunning. Absolutely, Absolutely gorgeous. I want to go for a swim. Go for it. Oh, it looks that, lovely. That will get a lot of views, right? It would, yeah. Watch this, oh, maybe not, maybe not. I wouldn't want to see me stripping off. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go and visit a bunch of different manufacturers. Going to show you some brand new pieces that have just literally yesterday been released to the world. So you haven't seen them yet. We haven't seen them. We have no idea what we're going to see, but let's go. Ready? They're going to be good. Let's do it. So the manufacturers, not only do they have their boutiques, of course, but they've also taken suites in the hotels to display and have meetings for their new pieces. This is the Fairmont Hotel. All the hotels have got these rooms. We're going to go and visit them. And hopefully let's get in. So here we have Grubel Fosse, Arnoldson, Angelus. I think Angelus. Ressence and Singer. Singer make Porsches, don't they? Uh, I believe so. Come on. So this is Ressence. We saw this last night at the show, Adam, and they're incredible watches. I've never heard of them. I know nothing about them. Let's go see if they'll, uh, they'll show us. You ever heard of these, Paul? Uh, to be honest with you, Michael, it's the first time I've come across them, but they look absolutely Hello. mad. Thank you, producer Michael, Michael Blakey. Fred, nice to meet you. Hey, Paul, Paul, Paul. Paul. How are you doing? Nice to, you. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, Welcome. so we we saw these watches last night. Very different. Can you tell us a little bit about them? Sure, absolutely. So, welcome to Ressence. Uh, it's a brand that has been created in 2010 by Mr. Benoît Mintiens, who's uh, actually just here, uh, the founder of the brand. And um, Mr. Mintiens is first of all not Swiss; he's Belgian, and he's not a watchmaker; he's a designer. And so, when he created his first watch, he said, "Well, is there another way to express time?" We dissect the information rather than having two hands and then an explanation of how to read the two hands we say we put one dial to, the, to give the hours another dial to give you well, another disc to give you the minutes and then depending on the watch you will have different information displayed for example here you have the date that is indicated on the outer rim so i have a question so how do the hands move and what what powers them absolutely so the, it's a mechanical watch automatic swiss made and so here, I will move the entire case back. Oh, and so the entire dial moves at the same time. And this is what we call the rocks, so the Ressence Orbital Convex System, meaning that we have disc and sub-disc that orbit around each other. And each moment of the day, when you look at your dial, the dial is different. So here, for example, I'm gonna go to 1 p.m. So this is one, this is zero, zero minutes, that's and so clever. You even have AM and PM. May I, may I feel that? Absolutely. How many of these do you make? So in general, we, we have a production between six and 700 watches uh, a year, mm. all types. Uh, all types. Yeah, absolutely. This is really, really very different. I love it. So what is the retail price of one of these? So the Type 3 retails at 38,200 Swiss francs, excluding VAT. So like $40,000. Roughly, yeah. It's incredible. That's amazing. It's absolutely, I absolutely incredible. love it. And so this Type 3, what you don't know yet about it is that the upper half of the watch is actually filled with oil. So the rocks here is completely immersed into synthetic oil. And the reason why we do this is not because we know how to do it, is because it allows you to read the watch from every angle. You don't have a reflection. You don't have a refraction. It's amazing, lights. isn't it? I don't know if the camera will get this. Yeah, of course. So absolutely. No, no, so keep it upright so I can. Oh, you're going to do it. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So you can see. 
And so when, when we added the oil to it, that was the reason we wanted to give better legibility under every angle. It looks painted. It just looks like a painted dial. Absolutely amazing. What do you think, Paul? Well, he's fascinated. I'm he's filming try, here. Yeah. I'm trying to... Uh, it looks great yeah, it looks as well. It looks crazy, doesn't it? It, it really, it, yeah. it really, really does. I love the way you can see it from even this angle. You can still yeah. read the time. It looks great on the wrist. And this one here is domed. This one is, is the most futuristic one that we have because we actually added in between the mechanical movements and the dial, we added what we call an E-crown. And so it's a connected crown that can take over the mechanical movements and set the time. So actually with the E-crown, you can switch between two time zones, but the watch does the work. Let me show you. Quite, so, quite this something. This is amazing. Let's say you travel to your new destination. You're gonna wake up the watch and then by one tap, here we go. Oh, wow. And then I'm, I'm gonna tell it to go to time zone green and then I'm gonna leave it and the watch is going to set herself to oh, the other time zone. Oh, it's still going? Yeah, well, now it's going to the other time zone, let's say LA or, or, Jap or Tokyo or whatever the time zone is. That's brilliant. I am in love. I am in love. <laughs> and, and this one retails for how much? 46800 Please buy one. Please buy one. Well, maybe off camera we'll have a little chat. It was a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Thank have you. Have a great show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. That's so cool. So cool. So that was amazing. I mean, never seen anything quite like that. It was a very, very fun, very innovative, different, and... Uh, yeah. Crazy pieces. I mean, I can't imagine the watch that needs an oil change, but there you go. I mean, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. right. Yeah, take it to Shell or Castro, right? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Let's go see what else let's, we can let's find. Move on. So we are here at Arnold & Sons. Uh, they have some new pieces. We're going to see Samir, who's the director for the US distribution of Arnold & Sons. I've known Samir for quite a long time. Let's go see what they've got. Ready, Paul? Yeah, I'm ready. Looking forward to this one. Yeah, it'll be a good one. Hello, hello. How are you, old friend? So good, <laughs> good to, to see, see you. you. What a good surprise. So we have a few of our novelties here. How Arnold and Son has gone over the last few years is we've created three collections within the brand in terms of what John Arnold was and his watchmaking in the 1700s. And ju just to throw it in there, because we're English, John Arnold, if I'm not mistaken, was an English watchmaker. Yes, he was a British watchmaker from the mid-1700s and was very important to watchmaking. Actually, many people don't know the term chronometer, highly accurate timepiece, was coined by John Arnold. Really? He had entered a contest with the Why British Board of that. Observatory. No, to be fair. One of our collections being chronometry. And this year, we have changed up our one of our pieces that was in the collection and we have decreased the size of the casing these are our two new DSTBs we are doing one p uh, one rendition in platinum it's going to be limited to 38 pieces and as you can see here we have a beautiful salmon dial oh that's and gorgeous what's so important about this and how this ties into watchmaking with John Arnold and our interpretation as a Swiss brand is you have the true beat second so you needed your hours minutes and exact seconds to find your longitude during please, that time. Please explain to everybody what true beat seconds so, means. As you can see this watch Me is, more than anybody, is, right? Is yeah. it's, it's a mechanical watch but if you see the second hand it's it looks ticking like, like a quartz. quartz. Yes. Correct. Yes. And that is what we call a true beat or other people call it a dead beat second. Beautiful piece. What will this watch retail for? This watch is going to retail at 56400 So that's considerably less than I thought you were going to say. Beautiful piece. What's Thank next? You. So, our new rendition of our ultra thin tourbillon with a very classic opaline dial. And this is one of the thinnest flying tourbillons in the market. So, a Beautiful very classical piece, as piece. Well. And how, you know, the tourbillon, which many people also may not know with John Arnold, he was very close with Abraham Louis Breguet. They actually shared notes with each other, they, their sons apprenticed under each other. And when Breguet had completed his first river working tourbillon, he put one of them in an Arnold pocket watch and gifted it back to John Arnold's son. Really? Arnold had passed away already. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Because I know that Breguet has claimed the credit for oh, absolutely. creating he, the, he the absolutely tourbillon. absolutely did. But that's very interesting. That's yes. very interesting. What a gorgeous piece. Look how thin that is. What's the, what's the diameter of the thickness, you know? The thickness is around eight millimeters. Turn and the movement itself is around 2.9. Wow. Well, that's gorgeous. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. And the, the, the detail. And the, and the detail the with the hand engraving on the bridge. The Is that how you pronounce it? Yes, sir. 
I'm learning, Adam. I'm learning. <laughs> Gorgeous piece. And the retail on this one was how much? The retail on this one is 72 and some change. Which is also, I would say, very reasonable for a, for a tourbillon. Especially an ultra thin one. Ultra thin tourbillon. Gorgeous. I've got my eye on that. What is that? Absolutely. So our double tourbillon. So every year now we are coming out with one rendition in white gold, one in rose gold. The rose gold already being sold. This is the latest one. So this is a unique piece, a Venturine dial double tourbillon. Why is it down? The dial is spectacular. That, just kind of turn that from side to side for oh, me. Oh yeah. The angles on it are just beautiful. It's, it's, it's like a sparkly effect. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, the Aventurine. It's a, it's a stone. I'm going to turn it over. Oh, look at that. So you have two independent tourbillons, so two time zone independent set, each a minimum of 90 hour power reserve. So does each tourbillon power one of the time zones? Correct. And how many of these pieces would you make in a year? Two. Just two? Two, if we have order, I mean, two that we create and then for some special pieces, so probably about five a year. Gorgeous. Can I see that? Absolutely, absolutely. What else have you got in the box? So going into our astronomy collection, this is our newest rendition of our perpetual moon. It's in platinum with a celestial ray dial in ice blue, and I'm gonna grab. It's a pretty watch as well. That's lovely. Look at that dial. It, it's the moon. Oh, look at that. And we have a superluminova on the moon. Oh yeah. Did you see it like that? Yeah. There? And what's great about this Again, piece, you know, many people finished. who wear moon calendar watches, if they haven't wound the watch or it hasn't been set to get it accurate again, it's very difficult. We have a full indication system on the back, so if you haven't worn this watch, for somebody like who, who has hundreds and hundreds of watches in his collection. <laughs> I'm blushing. <laughs> so, you know, very easy to get back to the correct moon phase. So how, how would that work? When you say so indications, have, how, how does so that work? Here's the full indication system here. We have a pusher that we give with every watch, which each click will move it one click over. So for, let's say, for example, there was a full moon four days ago. We click it to the full moon, and then four clicks, you're back at your accurate That's moon so phase. That's so clever. Very simple. So I have actually avoided getting moon face watches. Many people have for this particular reason. Because they're so difficult to set. I mean, they're impossible to set, and then they stop, and you have to do the whole thing again. It's a nightmare. But um, this is clever. And beautiful. For me, the moon phase has always been the most underrated function. I love a moon phase. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. 31 days to rotate, you know. And if wound for 90 hours, it's a 90 hour power reserve if wound. This moon hours. phase is correct for 122 years with only one little change in the system. That's one day's deviation. That's... So it might even outlive us. <laughs> might. Now I hope to live longer than yeah, that. Okay. How much is this piece? This piece retails at 48,300. And again, I think that and I mean, it's platinum. platinum. That that's, doesn't that's, sound expensive. That, yeah, not expensive. But such Fantastic a Beautiful, value. beautiful piece. Look at this, Adam. It has it appears to be a marble. It's a meteorite dial, a, and we blue finish with it. And even the moon phase has a blue meteorite. And then, how did you get the curved meteorite? It takes some time. I'm so sure it did. Fight. Can you show us the superloom? Oh, look at the rubies light up as well. Wow, that's cool. Here, let me shade it a bit. There we go. Wow, that's awesome. Let's see. And then what about the other side that's on the face? Incredible. That and really is special. This is the first time we've added Superluminova in our rose gold versions. Wow. Oh, look. That looks like an eyeball. Full moon. <laughs> <laughs> no moon. Wow. That's special. And what's the price of this, or what's it going to be? The retail on this is going to be 61400 Way less than I anticipated. Yeah. So has any other manufacturer ever created a ball like no, this? this is the largest three-dimensional moon phase. If they've created it, not to this size. What do you think of that, Paul? It's very special. Very special, right? Yeah. I, I actually like it the way it looks right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you agree, Adam? Yes, I do. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. I, I, I do too. So, I mean, you don't have to have it showing the accurate moon phase. You can just make it like that. I guess you could. I guess you could. You can go to a new, no moon anytime yeah. you want. Yeah, right? Well, Samir, this is 
so kind of you it's to show us these absolute new amazing pieces. surprise to see you and one, it's always a pleasure one second because i know that the audience is going to ask to see the diamonds i know it's the Absolutely. same watch but so what does that tell you about me I'm not doing the diamonds anymore, so I didn't even gravitate and I to it, right? You know, I was so excited to bring this out. <laughs> but this is gorgeous. So this is a ladies new release. Piece. It's a ladies piece, 38 millimeters, and it's called our we call it our mint night. And contrary, these are not diamonds that are pave. It's ruthenium crystals. Ruthenium what is, is, is ruthenium it's, it's, crystal? It's, it's extracted from platinum, and that's where the you brilliance comes from. So those are actually not diamonds. The diamonds are around the bezel and on the lower. So this is platinum chips? Ruthenium, yeah. Oh ruthenium my God. I've never so heard of sparkly. that. It sparkles more than diamonds. It does. It does. Never heard of that. That's never crazy. seen it before. I've never seen that, no. And this is limited to 18 pieces. And the cost of this? 67,000. Again, it looks a lot more than that, doesn't it? It really does. Glad you asked to see this, because it's- It's we, been we sparkling just... away at me over there in the corner <laughs> the whole time. Yeah, well, <laughs> so, so going back to what I was saying, this has been amazing. Thank really you. appreciate it's, it. I appreciate uh, that. Beautiful pieces. I mean, beautiful, extraordinary pieces. I thank you. I'll see you back in Los Angeles. Absolutely. Thank, thank you, you very well. much. Great seeing you guys. Guys, we're gonna wander on and see what else we encounter, but this was amazing. Thank you. Couldn't resist, eh? A little bit of free cake? Yeah, absolutely. He likes a bit of free cake. Yeah. <laughs> so where to next? So we can go look at some big boy watch. Actually, actually, let's talk about your baby. Well, it's about time, I think, yeah. I mean, actually, I think it's about time. The viewers got to know something quite special. Um, but before you say anything, let's go find somewhere. Let's go sit down and let's talk about it because this is very exciting. Yeah. You're going to want to hear it. Let's just go talk about it. I think it. you're going to like this. So, Paul, Michael. you've been <laughs> working on this project for about three and a half, four years now, right? Yeah. Um, it's ingenious. I know all about it. Uh, I'm actually part of it now, I'm very proud to say. But, Paul, tell the world what you've created. Well, I think the best way to put it, Michael, is Digital Watchful will become the world's, the watch world's guardian angel. There's what is Digital Watch Vault? What Digital Watch mean? Vault is a place where watch owners across the world can place their watches into their own private digital vault, keep all the provenance of their watches safely, no one can get to them, it's completely safe. And if they want to transfer that watch at any time to someone else, they can do that as well. To interrupt you, there's mm. one thing that is very, very special about it. Yeah. There is a search engine where if you're about to buy a watch that's not from an AD, you can search the serial number and see if it comes up as a stolen watch or a counterfeit watch and it gives you that reassurance that it's not registered absolutely we have the world's biggest lost stolen and counterfeit watch database it's there to protect the community and it's all for free but michael i'm going to surprise you today we've been friends for a while and we've been speaking about digital watch for some time when you saw what we was trying to achieve i want the viewers to know that you've played a big role in helping us fund the vault um, from the from the bottom of your heart, out of your own kindness, and I'm very proud of what you've done. And I think it's time that the viewers knew how we've managed to do what we've done. Well, you know, to me, um, it's scary wearing a watch now. It, exactly. it, it really is. Exactly. You, you know, you, you you go for dinner and you, you're in fear of being mugged because there's so much theft. Uh, and when Paul showed me this this platform. Um, it really devalues a stolen watch because now anyone that's going to buy a watch, they're going to do a search. They'll find that the serial number comes yeah. out and the watch is basically worthless, right? Yeah. So I wanted to be part of it and I wanted it to, to grow. And I know initially there was going to be a fee. We were going to have to charge. We was going to have to charge, Michael. Right. But you've managed to change that for us. We never wanted to charge anyone. Our ambition was to make it free. You've made that possible. Well, I'm, I'm glad I could contribute. Unfortunately, not in the technical side of things. Yeah. There's a genius team. I've been involved now for, what, a year about? Yeah. Uh, there's a, a more, genius yeah. team on, on the, um, the, the technical side of things that have developed quite an achievement. And I encourage everybody, and I mean this sincerely, everybody to register your your watch in the vault it, like paul said it, it won't cost you a single dollar it won't cost you a cent before you buy a watch search the serial number it will tell you whether it's registered stolen or not it's not going to stop crime it's just not but it's certainly going to reduce it the message to everyone is please use it because it is yours as much as it is ours 
This doesn't belong to any one person, it belongs to everyone, Michael. Dealers, manufacturers, enthusiasts, aficionados, collectors, you name it, it belongs to the entire watch world, the entire watch community, and it's free, and it's with the best interest of everyone. Well, well, thank you for building this. I mean, really, guys, encourage you. All the information will be in the description. And uh, let's go look at some more watches. Yes, let's do that. So who's next? Let's go and visit. Who do you want to visit? Oh, well. Over. OK, 512. Let's, let's do it. Is that room 512? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> it's like the blind leading the blind. So we lost Paul at the buffet. I have no idea where he went. I like the look of this. A little torpedo yeah, roll. This, this looks good. Some, some Tilsiter, some mayonnaise. But I'm sure he's eating and having fun. But in the interim, we are here with Mr. Martin Frey. Martin is the co-founder oh. and chief designer of Allwork. That's right. Who make incredible watches, very innovative, very different to anything else. And I've got to say, this piece on the table here is just startling. I don't know how to tell the time on it, Adam. <laughs> what do you think it's telling us right now? I don't know. The time is just a concept. Who knows what, but it looks like a rocket, doesn't it? It is looks like a lightsaber, yeah. look. Oh, that's right. Oh, how brilliant. Press the button, see what happens. Mm, you do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Steven, do some magic. <laughs> This is uh, actually uh, what we call uh, the space-time blade. It's a, a strange object, it uh, uh, shows the time, but also the other aspect of time, and that is uh, distance. Uh, in 20 minutes you travel around the center of the Earth, you travel around uh, 555 kilometers on the equator. Right? Okay. And then there's the second motion that we do, the second uh, tr trip, that is around uh, the sun. I'm going to say mm -hmm. that the world is spinning at 1,481,720,000. I don't know what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. but it looks very cool. It looks Absolutely. very cool. You know, I have to have this. Getting dark. <laughs> Do you think this will look good? I love it. I love it. <clears throat> so is it buyable? Can I buy it? First, it's a, a piece that we do for the only watch. You know, watches are uh, auctioned for a good cause. Crazy I pieces. will be bidding on it. That's great. Good to hear. I love it. Absolutely so, so this love it. Is actually, what we what we have prepared for for uh, this year's uh, only watch Amazing. auction. Amazing. So, you have many new watches that the mm -hmm. world hasn't seen yet. Yes. May we show them to our audience? Yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're now in a, a very private, beautiful room here, and uh, we're going to see these amazing timepieces. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so let me show you, actually. <clears throat> so different pieces. Um, I maybe start with a very recent one. That is actually a reloaded uh, concept. Uh, our first two watches that we have uh, did that back in 1996. Uh, first uh, concepts that we presented in Basel. Uh, in honor of that, because we have these 20 years now invested in our company, uh, we did here this piece. It's the UR, 100, um, UR 102 Reloaded. Yes. So what, what you see here is the same time display that we use often for our watches. It's actually um, the hour indicating the minutes. So you have like a semicircle while the, you know, one hour is indicating, the other hour is switched, where you don't see it. But it's a bit magic, because you only see the fifth hour here disappearing, and then the sixth hour here appearing. So it's like quarter past, and then in the middle here, half past. That's so clever. Is it? So, so you, it's, it's like seamless, you don't, and you don't, it's a bit of magic, because you don't know how it's happening. How much does this piece sell for? Um, this, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's 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 not our it's a, it's a limited series so we did a hundred pieces. It's a bit a different price range than than our uh, other watches. Something. This one has caught my eye. Yes. What do we have? We here? have here. Yeah. Look at that, Adam! Isn't that crazy? Beautiful. Two hundred twenty. It's actually with, in, in rose gold. So when the full hour is reached. 
the hand flips back to wow. catch the next hour. So the cube is already ready to indicate uh, the next time. Preloaded, right? Preloaded. So, the, so if, if, the, uh, if the hours are not in use, they are doing the little dance in the background. And here we see what, what's happening. If you concentrate on, on the cube in here, back here, you see how that turns, you see, like every every uh, That's turn amazing. That really is And it, it gets ready to be, again, indicating time. This is really special. So clever. What is this? So here we have what you invented in time is also a, a thing that is called oil change or the service indication. You can also oil call, change. Yeah, yeah, it's oil change. Because what, what, is, what is actually happening when you, when you bring your watch to the watchmaker, he, he actually changes the oils, he cleans the watch and so on. But that's one thing he does. So it's actually telling you when to bring your watch to, to the service. So that means it counts the time that you're wearing it. It's only counting the time you're spending, you know, together with the watch. So that tells you yet another thing. It tells you how much love you give to the watch. That's another, another like interesting it. definition of it. And then we have mm. this piece is, yes, so once again, very different. Uh, it is different, but then again, it is, uh, it is of course, related. What, what, what intrigued us here originally was we had the indication down here. It's, it's actually easier to read the time because you can look at it like this from this angle, so it's kind of like a, on the steering wheel. So another uh, very uh, you know, in intriguing position for the indication is on this side. Because when you wear a, a shirt, so you know only part of the indication peeks out from underneath. That's true. And so you see it. So we had to do it. Uh, so you see here, it's like it's half past four. I mean half past three, and then quarter two, and then again four o'clock. And uh, when this arrow lands, and they always stay level, these arrows, you know, because it's this orbital movement. And what happens with the cube? You see with the other watch that's in the big cubes. Here we actually split the cubes, so they don't. They only need to be half a stick. And that's the reason why we did it, because we wanted to have the watch ergonomic and um, smooth. The fun thing is that you see the mechanics. You know how that moves, how how it actually uh, destroys the number uh, in the back. You know, and then how it puts it back together to so the clever. indicating time. Right. So clever. Then this one here. This one. So it's a different case idea it's like a, almost like a deconstructed case that in, you know when you compare it to this it's the, the idea of these cases were like the shield that protects the insides kind of like a, and here uh, you know it's kind of just domed and the, the indications are moved underneath of the glass it operates on the same principle same principle i can show you that um, when you when you actually work it so pull the crown and and here the cool thing here is also a bit different so you, you know it already now, it's, it's, it's going half past and quarter to the number here. And then what happens is here, the hand disappears. It has three hands, you see the hand here, yes. the hand here and here. But then the hand disappears behind this cover. That way we, we know now, oh, there's only one hand, the others are somehow hidden. It's so another way to do it. Uh, so you have this extreme position here where you see all of them. So you have a little f a color flash, you know, so, so, and, and indicating the, the, the end of the hour, the beginning of the next one. So this hand, when it disappears here, it somehow morphs into a, indicating a different, a different aspect. And as you have seen before with the, uh, our space-time blade, you know, uh, this space-time blade also indicates the, the distance we travel. So here, you know, the hand miraculously turns into an indication of the distance we travel. So here, 20 minutes pass, and then this hand now doesn't indicate time, but it indicates the distance traveling around the center of the Earth. So it's an astronomical uh, watch in this sense that, that tells us that every watch is kind of like the model of, a, of our, our situation here on Earth. It's reflecting that, our motion, that's a bit, uh, yeah, okay, cosmological uh, model of, of our situation. I would call it genius. Thank you. <laughs> so, you know, we, we show lots of watches. This is probably the best explanation of how a complicated watch like this works. I mm. mean, you're chief designer, okay. so nobody knows better than you, right? This has been very educational, very, very exciting. I'm sure everybody has thoroughly enjoyed this. Right. Martin, you're welcome. thank you so much. Martin Frey, 
chief designer, co-founder of Allwork. Spectacular, spectacular pieces. And I urge you guys to check them out. So guys, this has been so exciting seeing all these, these watch brands. And there are so many more to see. This video would be way too long, so we're gonna cut it off right now. Tune in next week or the week after, and there's gonna be another video where we're gonna show you a bunch more brands and all these new novelties. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell. Uh, go shopping on Producer Michael. How do you like this shirt? This is from the new Producer Michael collection. Look at this, one of 100 and, did I say 26? 20. Anyway, go shopping and use the code PM20 and you get a discount. I'm done. Bye.